overall focus may be a little different this year, but anti-abortion groups say the mission's still the same. My motivation is human to let people know that I had they don't have to, to turn to no abortion. Family. Now it's just winning over the hearts and minds of people. Despite the snow and the cold, people from across the country are gathering here for the annual March for Life in Washington. Even though Roe v. Wade was overturned, they say there's still work to be done at the state level. And that means making abortion unthinkable. Right now, the focus is on making sure that every woman, every pregnant woman has the resources to choose life and to have their babies. For Kristen Day, executive director of Democrats for Life of America, that includes supporting funding for crisis pregnancy centers, anti-abortion facilities that provide diapers, wipes, and other necessities for families. While giving away millions of dollars in goods to families, they've also been accused by medical groups and some state officials of using deceptive practices, misusing funds and false advertising. A lot of people are making these comments, have never visited a pregnancy center, never talked to anybody who worked there, never talked to any women who benefited from the services of the pregnancy center. Let me hear you say yes! <laughs> Day contends the centers are just one part of redefining the meaning of pro-life, saying it also means support for a new bill that would expand the child tax credit. This march today is about the woman and the baby. You know, we care about the baby in the womb, we care about the baby after the womb. According to the Guttmacher Institute, in 2023, some 22 states and D.C. enacted 129 measures protecting abortion access, the highest number of protections ever enacted in a single year. Amber Strong, Scripps News, Washington.